Hey ghouls, Terry Kruger, the sweetest psychopath you'll ever meet, and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, today we're actually jumping right into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Palette, well, Nervina Pro Palette, Volume 2. This is the blue one. Um, I actually had filmed a video yesterday, but um, I kind of rushed and I didn't really like the look I made. Uh, it had nothing to do with the shadows. I can already spoil it for you here. I fucking love this palette. All three of them are amazing, really great quality. Um, I just rushed because I had to go film a gig. Um, I'll go ahead and explain more of that later, but right now let's go ahead and dump, <laughs> let's go ahead and dip right into this palette. Um, I'm gonna create another look. I have something to go to a little later tonight, but I have time to actually play with this and you know create something fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll get a little started. Let's pull out some brushes, one and three, which are these uh, green colors right here at the corners. These two right here. I'm gonna go ahead and play with those and see. Ooh, look at that. It's like rubbing wasabi on my eye. It's like rubbing wasabi on my eye. <laughs> Again, I'm comparing an eyeshadow to like a hot sauce, and um, I shouldn't do that because it's gonna make my eye get all nervous later on. <laughs> <A little. laughs> I'm already fucking loving this color. It's like fucking an alien just nubbed in the corner of my eye, and I'm smearing it all around. <laughs> Bitch, that is pretty. I'm gonna probably go into E1 and E5 just to kind of uh, darken this up a little bit, but not too much. I still want it to be really, really bright. I'm gonna go into A2 and D4, which is this color up here. I'm gonna kind of start uh, going from A1 to the other one to smoke it out all under my eye. Already can kind of tell that with the yellows, if you seem to like blend them out, they do kind of get a little patchy. I feel the best way to use these yellows is to uh, tap them in. I am going to go into E3 now, which is this color right here, and use it to darken it up. Um, I might dip into the dark blue or even the black just to really get it dark in the corners. E3, which is kind of like that dark teal color. A1 and A4, and I'm going to add those on the lid. I'm gonna try to see what I can do to work them both together. And with this Anastasia liquid lipstick, this is the color Blizzard from their last holiday collection. I'm gonna use this to put on top of my lid just to create a base for the shimmers I wanna pack on top of that. Bitch. Bitch. It is fucking pretty. Oh my God, I really fucking love this. Look at that, bitch. All right, I'm gonna go into A1 and I'm gonna add that just in the corner of my eye. Kind of help blend her out. Start off soft, I'm gonna go in with D5, which is this deep navy color, and barely add her right here. I look, it's gonna mix with the yellow, so hopefully we get like some type of dark greenish color here. And I'm gonna blend her slightly up and slightly across the lid like that. I'm going to E5, which is the black. I'm adding her just in the corner. Steal a liner. I'm just gonna give myself like. Let's see, do I wanna do a cat eye? I'm probably not going to do a cat eye because it's dark here, you can't see it. I'm just going to put it across the lid to help hide the lash band when I put that on. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add my mascara, and then I'm going to do my other eye, and then we'll get back to talking about this palette and what I really think of it.
and this is the finished look a couple hours later <laughs> I was originally filming this like around five o'clock it is now exactly 11 o'clock at night uh, in the middle of filming um, my friends came over so um, I kind of finished up like doing my makeup and then I went out for the day and I just got home and honestly the only thing I touched up was my lips because I did go and eat but I haven't touched up any of my eyeshadow at all um, and it held up pretty well the only part that's fucked up a little is right here in the corners um, for some reason I guess because the fan was directly on me we, when we went out to eat my eyes are kind of tearing up and it kind of just faded away from my my eyes kind of like teared up a little but other than that like it stayed on pretty nice all day um, we kind of were outside for most of it and like my foundation held up my eyeshadows held up the lashes held up I'm surprised and yeah like everything came out looking really really cute really pretty um, I really do love this look and I'm just really impressed with the shadows so uh, once again um, if you are someone who just collects a bunch of makeup or if you're a professional artist like myself and you need a kit for when you go out on freelance jobs this is definitely something to pick up, all three of them actually, because all the colors in here and every single palette work really amazing. Um, I have been dipping in and playing with most of the palettes since I've gotten them, and I'm just really happy with the, the quality of them. Like, they're really gorgeous, really pretty. If anything, like I said, the, pa the yellow from this palette and the third one, um, I feel like I haven't used it as a color to blend out yet, but from using it, the times I have, I can kind of tell that it might get blotchy or fade off if you blend it so the best way to apply that one is definitely to pack it on but bitch i used this color today for a highlight um i used a lot of the greens up here some of the dark ones and the black and then i did mix uh this color and this color for on my lids today but i don't know i'm really so actually to be honest my favorite palette from this collection has to be the third one and this was one of the ones, like, of course I was going to buy all of my saw all of them and thought they were real stunning. And honestly, right when I started playing with this one, I was like, the variety in here is so fun. Because you could do anything from a natural look to a bold look. And I'm just really, really fucking impressed and so happy with this palette. I really want to play with this one again. I'm going to use all 30 of them again in a future video. Um, kind of just like mixing colors from each of the palettes and creating a look. I dropped my brush and I fucked this one up a little, but other than that, like, the colors are pretty stunning. Like, I love purples. Like, I fucking love me some good-ass purples, and this worked so good. So this was such a fun idea and a fun collection for them to come out with. Like, I really do like these. If you're gonna get one of them, and not all three of them, I definitely recommend getting the volume three the orange one this one was my fucking favorite I have to admit that this one was my favorite um I don't know and if you're only gonna get two then I say it's actually one in three the, th the second one like I like it a lot but I just don't know for me personally um the colors in here are gorgeous, but I have a pink that I would use in the purple one. And the greens are cute, but it's actually also in the orange one. I mean, they're not like the same colors, but they're pretty close. Um, like, I do love this palette. I really do like it. But if I had to, like, get rid of one, sadly, she'd be the one out. Mostly also, too, because I'm, myself, personally, I'm not a fan of, like, blue eyeshadow too much. So if I had to do away with one, it'd probably be this one just because... I wouldn't really go for those blues too, too much. Not as much as I would with all the other colors from the other ones. Do you have any more questions? If you do, always answer me in the comment. But if you do, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, always down and below in the comments. I'm always there replying to all of you. If you have anything to ask about these palettes or even myself or whatever the fuck you might want to know, um, I definitely will answer. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me. Um, if you want to hang out with me in between uploads, you can follow me on Instagram. That's Terror underscore Kruger. I'll leave it down in the link below. But until then, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and until the next time, um, I'll see you ghouls later.